21st century China is a nation on the rise. Its economy and industry growing at lightning speed. But the country faces a huge challenge. The North is drying up. China's growth is threatened. Northern China's water shortage is affecting its social and economic development. The situation is critical. Enter one of the most ambitious engineering projects of modern times. The South to North Water Diversion Project is absolutely essential for solving North China's water shortage. A record-breaking chain of waterways, dams, tunnels and giant aqueducts to rescue China's parched North. Nothing has been tried on this scale before. It's a giant gamble. China's engineers are stepping into the unknown. The South-North Water Diversion Project will eventually divert almost 50 billion tons of water each year via three routes from the wet south to the parched north. Engineers hope five state-of-the-art pumps will be the driving force behind the project's eastern route, if the delivery goes smoothly. For half of its 1,467 kilometer length, the eastern route's gradient is uphill. Without help, water the engineers want to go north will flow the wrong way. Their ambitious solution is building 22 pumping stations to push the water in the right direction. Ninth in the chain is Han Zhuang, it will pump water north into a series of lakes. His station must pump water up a steep incline at a rate that would fill three Olympic swimming pools every minute. Five pumps at the bottom of the structure will do all the pushing. They work by spinning angled blades called impellers. These give water enough energy to overcome gravity. But pumping that much water 365 days a year makes for one big electricity bill. Zhao's team must find a way to keep costs to a minimum. During the design of the Hongzhong pumping station, everyone wanted to increase the pump's efficiency. It's the most important aim of our design. A pump's induction motor achieves an efficiency of around 75%. The rest is lost in friction and heat. Han Zhuang's engineers needed more than 81% efficiency. To meet their target, they turned to state-of-the-art technology. Dr. Patrick Luck is a world expert on the mechanics of permanent magnet motors. Their components are made from rare supermagnetic metals. The result is more energy is converted into motion. Put head to head with an induction motor, these rare metals make a dramatic difference to efficiency. So these motors, they have the similar speed, delivering the same torque. And the two readings shows me that the permanent magnet machine is 50% more efficient than that of the induction machines. For the cost-conscious designers of Hang Zhuang, installing permanent magnet-powered pumps was a no-brainer. The biggest reward for Cao and his fellow engineers 
is knowing, thanks to their hard work, the world's biggest hydro works will be fully operational by 2014. This world record-breaking system of aqueducts, canals, tunnels and pumping stations should ease the spectre of drought from China's parched north. For the moment at least, the people of Beijing and northeast China can be confident their taps won't run dry.